A gas station clerk accused of killing a customer after the two argued inside the store. Now that customer recently released from jail because of COVID-19. Tonight, his family and activists saying he didn't deserve to die. Here's Fox 2's Ingrid Kelly. Whatever he did in that gas station, he deserved to die. A grieving family asking why after their loved one, Joshua Lewis, was shot dead Monday by a gas station clerk for an alleged theft inside the gas station store. And I got buried my son. My, my stomach feel like stone. It's, it's tragic for us. After the fatal shooting, community activists calling for change, believing African Americans are often criminalized by the very businesses they support. So this, this young 18 year old shot through the bulletproof glass with an AK-47. That's a weapon of war. You mean tell me you at war? Because his brother may have, he allegedly came in and victimized what, your machine? The clerk was arrested and the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office says it received the warrant package on Wednesday, which is under review for possible charges. During a press conference on Wednesday, Detroit's police chief spoke about the incident. Clearly in our investigation, we see there was no imminent threat to that clerk's life. He was behind a protective screen. Uh, this person was engaging uh, in a property crime and the best course for this clerk should have been contact the police. According to the Michigan Department of Corrections, earlier this month, Lewis had absconded from parole. The COVID, they couldn't keep him, so y'all kept letting him out. He wasn't running, y'all kick him out. But the family and these activists maintain their focus is not on any past criminal history. Instead, they want to know why a store clerk shot and killed their loved one. These activists say the store clerk is not the only party that should be held accountable for this fatal shooting. If it comes out that this place of business didn't even have a license and this business could have been shut down and prevented a life, that's on the city of Detroit. Fox 2 reached out to city officials and they say the gas station was not licensed, nor did it have a certificate of compliance. The city is actively working with DPD to get them shut down. This business cannot ever open again under those circumstances. In Detroit, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.